Welcome to Schools Challenge TV from the first Schools Challenge event of the year. It's the Oxford leg of the school's challenge. Lots of shooters have turned up at the Oxford Gun Company to slug it out for a dazzling range of prizes. And what do they have in common? They are all under 21. After a briefing by Doug Florence, they set off to compete in a 50 sporting event. The competition has been running for nine years and attracted a record number of entries this year. Schools from all over the country came to the Oxford Gun Company to take part in the competition, including Clantovery School from Wales and Helen Remains from Essex. Competitors used Lyle Vale Express cartridges throughout the event. Express is a Schools Challenge sponsor. Prizes included Zealand clothing, goodies from Gun Company Browning and shooting equipment importer and distributor Edgar Brothers, Jack Pike accessories and much, much more. By lunchtime it is still anybody's competition. Doug briefs the afternoon competitors. The Oxford Schools Challenge is the first major competition of the Schools Challenge year. It started in 2004 to encourage schools to add shotgun shooting to school sports. It has become more and more popular over the years with schools entering the competition from all over the country and what's even better is that you don't have to be in a school team to enter, you can enter as an individual as well. The competitors here find all kinds of entertainment including frisbees supplied by the CPSA. But the main thing is the scoring. Who is edging ahead? It looks like James Lewis is three points clear of fellow Schools Challenge Academy member Tom Scott. Tom started competitive shooting in August last year with the Novice Schools Challenge and just a couple of months later he shot 50 targets straight during the Winter Series. At last the scores are in and the counting begins. Prize giving is by winner of the BBC Young Sports Personality of the Year shooter Amber Hill. Prep Boys winner is Sam Mullins with a score of 48 x 50. Well I've, I've mainly just done game shooting, uh, rough shooting, that sort of side but I've, I came over to the Oxford Gun Company about a month ago and had a lesson with David and he took off from there and David just said to come along and try a competition for experience and it went really well. <laughs> well it's the university's challenge next week so I'll shoot that and see how it goes really. I'd like to start really getting into it and start doing it seriously. Yeah, really happy. I've just mainly just coming on for experience today but did better than I thought I would. <laughs> the senior high gun competition goes to Robert Skipworth of Bloxham School with the same score. I won the um, senior competition high gun. My score was uh, 48 out of 50. I dropped one on the first stand and one on the fifth. They were oof. I, I really wish I hadn't, <laughs> yeah. I, I've been shooting quite a while actually, I came here on the prep schools, yeah, and um, well I won from my prep school, yeah so that must be about six or seven years, quite a long time. It's been, been a really good experience, <laughs> yeah. Bloxham School A team also takes the school prize today with Millfield in second place and Breeden in third. Senior ladies team is Millfield and prep winner is Helen Remains School. Among other winners today, Jess Allen of Stratford Girls Grammar School takes senior individual ladies, Cara Doherty of Berkhamsted School wins prep individual ladies, Dominic Cooper of JCB Academy wins the pool shoot and William Ford of Chipping Norton School wins the Browning Rabbit Mania. Full results and details of the next Schools Challenge event, the Breeden Festival of Shooting, on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of May 2014 are available on TSC's website, theschoolschallenge.co.uk. And now we have the Schools Challenge news. 
The Breeding School May Day Country Fair and Festival of Shooting is back, bigger and with more attractions than ever before. Held at Breeding School in Gloucestershire this year, there is a main arena with live events such as falconry and dog agility, a shopping village with local traders and lots of exciting take part attractions including river races, sports activities, dog shows, an equestrian area and even a live music zone. There are great prizes up for grabs in various competitions throughout the day too and attractions are suitable for all ages. Entry is £8 per car and both picnics and well-behaved dogs are very welcome. It's happening on Monday, May the 5th, 2014 and doors open at 10am. Breeding School's shooting captain James Lewis shot an impressive 91 to come joint first at TSC University Championships. The competition was a 75 bird sporting and 25 bird compact. Harper Adams' second team walked away with a pink semi-auto for coming first in the team category with a score of 414 x 500. The Royal Agricultural College ladies team won with a score of 336 x 500. Will Allen from Hartbury College won high gun after a shoot off and Natasha Lovell from the University of Gloucestershire won ladies high gun. Watch the next episode of Schools Challenge TV for a full report. TSC sponsor the CLA Game Fair has chosen Battersea Dogs and Cats Home as its official charity of the year for 2014. Money raised from the event through ticket sale donations, collections and social media will be donated to the world famous animal charity. TSC sponsor Stratstone has an offer that includes a complimentary day's shooting instruction. Available from Stratstone Land Rover Aylesbury, the voucher offers £250 towards a brand new Land Rover plus £167 worth of shooting lessons at the Oxford Gun Company. Visit stratstone.aylesbury.landrover.co.uk the Summer Game Fair season is upon us here to introduce the grand daddy of them all. The CLA Game Fair is its new director, Tony Wall. I did the first in 1998. I ran it as a the police officer in charge of the event at Stratfield Say and came on board for 1999. I think I was slightly conned into believing I was just coming to do the police liaison. I found that not to be quite the case. <laughs> The, the, bo the bonus of Blenheim is that there is very little soil and lots of flint. So whereas in 2012 we were cancelled at Beaver with the ground, we certainly would not have been cancelled at Blenheim. So we have a much more positive approach to um, the site there. It is a much easier site to manage with bad weather conditions. Absolutely. I know you like moving around, but is there a case for, for making Blenheim a permanent base? I'm not sure that either Blenheim or we would be hugely um, enthusiastic about that. Um, it takes us the best part of a year to persuade the local residents of Woodstock and Bladen that we're coming back. So I think um, to do it more often, or certainly every year, would certainly be almost impossible to actually um, pursue. There will be no charge for, for under 16s at all. So. 0 to 16 you come in free um, so this we've, we've obviously had to adjust how we do it so family tickets will see, cease to exist because um, everybody's charged for over 16 but um, we think that's a very positive move we obviously are trying to encourage young people to come to the event and we feel that 10 to 16 was a group that there were a lot of people that were, we, we would want to attract and it could get rather expensive for families, so we've, we think that's a very positive move. The CLA Game Fair is at Blenheim Palace on the 18th to the 20th of July 2014. Visit gamefair.co.uk Not all these Schools Challenge sponsors are involved in shooting. It is one of the major successes of TSC that it has attracted enthusiasts and not just the gun trade to the sport. Here is one such person, David Beck of Delta Financial Systems. We are a software company. We consider ourselves a knowledge company first rather than software um, because our specialisation is the pensions market. So we happen to have a product that's used by the pensions market the bulk of our support team are all pensions people. We are the reason that your investments will happen properly and everything will be looked after correctly. Um, what happens to your investments is beyond our control I'm afraid. And we have a very active um, corporate social responsibility program and um, one of the things that we do is look for things that are we think are good for certainly young people and good for society. We all choose different things to um, invest in as we see it. 
and having met David and the enthusiasm of the Oxford Gun Company is fantastic and learning about the school's challenge and what they did and it just felt a, a really good thing to help out with. Getting long, young people to learn how to handle firearms properly um, and safely and enjoy it as well is, is really essential as far as I can see. For more about Delta Financial Systems, go to deltafs.co.uk. That was Schools Challenge TV. I hope you enjoyed this programme. For more information on any of the events, please find us on Facebook or go to the Schools Challenge website.